On October 6, 2024, during a combined high altitude combat exercise at approximately 5,300 meters, the Chinese People's Liberation Army unveiled a graded Type 15 tanks equipped with anti drone cages for the first time. The exercise conducted in the Western Theater Command marks a significant development in China's military strategy, highlighting the PLA's response to the growing threat of drones, particularly first-person view drones used in offensive operations. This deployment represents a broader trend in modern warfare, where the increasing prevalence of unmanned aerial systems has pushed militaries worldwide to adopt innovative countermeasures. The Type 15, also known as the VT-5 or ZTQ-15, is a lightweight, highly mobile tank developed by China's defense giant Norinco. First introduced at the Zhuhai Air Show in 2016, the tank was designed for operations in rugged terrains like mountainous regions and forests, where heavier main battle tanks could struggle. Weighing between 33 and 36 tons depending on its armor configuration, the T-15's relatively low weight allows it to be more agile compared to heavier tanks like the 50 tons ZTZ-99. Equipped with a 1000 horsepower diesel engine, the T-15 can reach speeds of up to 70 km per hour on roads with an operational range of 450 km. Its primary weapon, a 105mm cannon with an automatic loader, is capable of firing a range of ammunition, including armor-piercing rounds and anti-tank missiles, with an effective range of 5,000 meters. The tank also features a remote weapon station equipped with a 12.7mm machine gun and a 14mm automatic rayelet launcher, providing it with a robust firepower configuration suitable for a variety of combat scenarios. To bolster its defensive capabilities, the T-15 features well-distilled armor that can be enhanced with composite and explosive reactive armor, offering protection against more arms fire shell splinters, and anti-tank missiles. The tank's modular design allows for the integration of additional sled armor, particularly on the turret sides and hull, further protecting it from rocket-propelled grenades. These features make the Type 15 an ideal choice for missions in challenging environments, such as high-altitude plateaus, forests, and urban areas. The addition of anti-drone cages, or corp cages, to the Type 15 marks a strategic adaptation by the PLA in response to the growing threat posed by drones on the modern battlefield. The cages, which act as an additional layer of armor, are designed to mitigate the damage caused by drone strikes, particularly from FPV drones often used in combat to target ammo vehicles. This innovation is part of a broader trend seen globally, where drones have become integral to modern military operations. Drones are not only used for reconnaissance and surveillance, but also as offensive weapons, capable of delivering precision strikes against ground targets. In the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, Russia's use of drones to inflict significant damage on ammo vehicles has underscored the necessity of effective counter-drone measures. China's deployment of these anti-drone cages demonstrates a direct response to this evolving threat. While anti-drone cages were initially perceived as improvised solutions, they have now become a standard feature in many militaries. 
These cages offer substantial advantages by deflecting or absorbing the impact of drone strikes, preventing them from detonating directly against the vehicle's critical components. This design is especially useful against FPV drones, which can deliver explosives with pinpoint accuracy. The deployment of upgraded Type 15 tanks with anti-drone cages during a high altitude exercise highlights the importance China places on defending its armor units from aerial threats in diverse combat environments. The Type 15's lightweight, high mobility design makes it particularly suitable for operations in regions like the Tibetan Plateau and along China's western borders, where altitude and terrain can severely limit the effectiveness of heavier tanks. The incorporation of anti drone defenses into these tanks suggests a shift in China's military doctrine, acknowledging the critical role drones play in modern warfare. By equipping its frontline ammo vehicles with advanced drone countermeasures, China is positioning itself to better protect its forces in high-threat environments. This move also aligns with China's broader efforts to modernize its military and maintain technological parity with other global powers, particularly the United States and Russia. Since its introduction in 2016, the TAF-15 has seen deployment primarily within the PLA, with a focus on operations in high altitude and challenging environments. The tank has been central to the PLA's efforts to modernize its forces, especially in areas where mobility and adaptability are key. While China has primarily deployed the Type 15 within its own forces, there is significant export potential for this platform, particularly among nations with similar geographic challenges or those looking for cost-effective alternatives to heavier main battle tanks. Countries such as Pakistan, known for its strategic partnership with China, and another nations with mountainous or different trends could be potential buyers of the Type 15. The addition of anti-drone cages further enhances the export potential of the Type 15, as the global demand for advanced anti-drone systems continues to grow. With drones becoming increasingly prevalent in both state and non-state military operations, many countries are seeking solutions to mitigate this emerging threat. China's decision to equip the Type 15 with anti-drone cages marks a significant development in modern ammo warfare. The PERA's effort to address the threat of drones reflect a broader recognition that future conflicts will increasingly involve unmanned systems and precision-guided munitions.